Mm. Hi there. Well, welcome back to the shop. My name's Russ. Um, today, I just wanted to show off my battery charger system for my OB uh, tools. As you know, several years ago, I made a commitment to buy nothing but Ryobi, and I think that has turned out to be a great decision. Partly for the pricing, and partly for the fact that they had the most tools available to run off of these batteries. And since then, it, the whole market has exploded on Ryobi on the things you can buy. Uh, I even bought a, a weed whacker and a 16-inch lawnmower that runs off of, yes, you guessed it, it runs off of two of these batteries. It's awesome, and it does a great job. So it makes it really convenient to get out there and use these all these different pieces of equipment. And I always use the same batteries. The problem I ran across is that as soon as I did that and started really expanding my Ryobi usage, uh, I realized pretty quick, and I bought those heavy-duty batteries, which is the first thing I noticed is that I really needed more battery capacity and more batteries. So I went from four of these six of these and that solved that problem pretty quickly and it made it nice plus I can take grab several of them put them in my portable power pack and I have that available to me too by using these so going to the excess the more uh, batteries on hand was a great thing for me to do and well worth the investment but I ran across a new problem when that happened and that is that I only had one charger <laughs> I happened to get that through a value pack of some kind where I bought like a drill and a driver or something and it came with the charger and a couple of batteries and so one battery charger wasn't going to cut it for all these batteries I realized pretty fast so first thing I did and as you know I talked about this in the past I went out and bought this it's the supercharger by Ryobi and I have to tell you of all the things that I've ever bought from Ryobi this is the first time I've ever been totally disappointed first reason is when I got it and started using it, first thing I realized, yeah, you can put six batteries in it, but it only charges one at a time. So for six batteries, if they're an hour a piece, it takes you six hours to charge all the batteries. Not a good design in my opinion. So, and then after six months, blessing in disguise, it quit working all together. Really always got hot right up in this area and really hot to the touch. And eventually it just quit working. So, I'm, But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to gut it. And I'm going to turn this into my power pack, portable power pack unit. Because it has six bays instead of the four like mine. And yes, George, I'm sorry. I appreciate what you did when we got together and he, he made those on his 3D printer. Those other connectors that I used to attach the batteries. All that's going to go by the wayside now that I have this. But... Believe me, if somebody else wants to copy what I'm doing, that's a good design and it still works very well. And most of the things I'm going to do there, I'll do here, the only, with the exception that the plug-in for the batteries is going to be much better with this. Because then they just click in and out. So, I'll still make use of that. And that will be a project down the road. But by having it this way, I went out there and what I did is I actually bought four I bought three more of these chargers and I bought the used ones just simply because they're so plentiful out there and they cost me about 20 bucks a piece so I got a little over $60 wrapped up in this including the extension cord that I use for the power supply to this box so basically all I did is I just built this box three inches deep so that I have the space underneath here behind for all the cords to manage them out of sight and out of mind. And then I mounted these directly on the face on here so that uh, they would be easy to use. And I, now with pocket screw uh, all the way around, I can put it on any flat surface and mount it in just a few seconds. It makes it easy to move it around. I can turn it in any direction I want to use it. It doesn't have to be in this configuration. So it actually works pretty well. And with all the slots in here, I put a bunch of slots in there so that I had ventilation behind so that it doesn't build up heat in here. Plus, there's a pretty good size one here, too, uh, hole, so that the heat should dissipate out of there. And the cord is a 10-amp cord. These things only, uh, between the four of them, uh, only draw about 2 amps. So this whole setup, self-contained, I can take and take the screws out, unplug it, move it somewhere else. 
and set it up and be still running in five minutes. If I ever decide to move it, it'll be easy to do so. I'm very happy with the design of putting it on this box. And it's nice that they're all here. I can see them and then individually, if they, once the battery's fully charged, the light goes to steady green instead. So then I know I can take it out and set it up on my shelf where I keep all my charged batteries. So now when I get a battery goes dead or I've been using it and I want to put it back on the shelf, it goes into here first. And then when it gets fully charged, it goes back up on the fully charged shelf over there. So it really works out better. I always have fully charged batteries now available to me in the two sizes. And it's just been very convenient. So going with one system, whether it's DeWalt, Hitachi, or whatever system it is. I went with the Ryobi, as I told you before, because of the different advantages to it, I felt. And I've been very happy with that choice. But if you have a chance, especially if you're starting off, you probably should make a decision what system you want, battery tools, and try to stick to just that system. So, and again, Ryobi isn't the biggest and the baddest and the best, but it ain't bad. It really has been very good to me, with the exception of one thing. So, uh, choose wisely, Grasshopper, is all I can say. But anyway, if you have any questions about this, comments, suggestions, please, Leave them in the comments below. Uh, not only do I enjoy reading them, but I've come to find out that a lot of my subscribers like to read those things too. So uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you like this video or you learned something here, hit that like button. It helps me know that I'm doing the right thing. Most importantly, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. I got lots more things that we'll be doing. So thanks, and we'll see you again soon.